Hi, in today's video I will show you the difference between Lambda and VBA. First we will create a function using VBA to get the results and then we will create the same function using Lambda without VBA with much less efforts and see how Lambda can make our life easy. Let us first have a quick look at the differences between Lambda and VBA. So when we talk about Lambda, it shows argument names while using the function created through Lambda. And when we create a function using VBA, we don't see any arguments with the function name. So using Lambda function is a bit easier. It is more helpful when you see the arguments that need to be passed. But in VBA, you need to remember the arguments or you need to document them. And then for Lambda, you, did, you need not learn VBA. Whereas, to create a function in VBA, you need to learn. It takes time to learn VBA. It takes much experience to learn VBA. And then, in Lambda, we are restricted to using Excel inbuilt functions. But VBA offers a lot of functionality. It offers a lot of flexibility. And then, with Lambda, we are restricted to a workbook only. The functions created using Lambda can be used in that workbook only. Whereas if you record a macro in personal macro workbook, that macro is available to all the workbooks. Right? And then with Lambda, we need not save it as a macro enabled workbook because it is not a macro. It is a function that is used to create custom functions. Right? But when you create a macro, you need to save your file as a macro enabled file. If you don't do that, all your macros are lost. So these were some of the basic differences between Lambda and VBA. Now let's jump to the example. First, let me show you what I'm trying to achieve here. Here I will pass two parameters, name and department. I can type anything. And here also I have used conditional formatting to highlight the records. For example, if I type uh, accounts, it will highlight all the records having accounts department. Okay. Now the benefit is that we can easily identify the names for accounts departments. Now I can type the name, for example, Philip, and it will highlight the matching record in green color. So this is the result we want here. We want to get all the details based on these two parameters. So I want to get experience and then salary and joining date. So for these things, I have created three functions in VBA and I will also show you how to use Lambda function to achieve the same results. So here uh, I'm using index and match functions. So basically I have customized match function to make it simple to use, easy to use. Otherwise we would be using a complex thing like uh, for example, if I give you some example of match, how we match using two parameters. So I will find one and then for name, I will select this range and compare it with this name. And then I will multiply this condition with the other one for department equals this department. And this calculation will return zero or one. Okay, depending on if the conditions are met or not. And then we can use exact match to get the result. So we got this uh, number two because it is found in the second row. Let me change it to something else. Uh, maybe Patrick. And now it is on 16th row here. So this is how match would otherwise work. It is a bit complex for a user who is not very well versed with functions. So to simplify it, I have created different versions of match function to make it very simple. Here the user would just need to pass these two arguments, name and department. So basically these are range names given to these cells, RNG name, RNG department. So we will pass name and department and it will automatically get the results. Let me show you here again, match using find. You can see these three variants, these are created in VBA. 
so we can use any one of them here we don't see any argument names that uh, we need to pass okay so I just need to remember these things and then department that's it we'll get the results uh, looks like here I need to select this as well to get the matching results so I must have used the header as well in, in VBA okay so this is how we can use match using find this is created in VBA right so we will create a new version using lambda but before that let me show you how to use this in uh, index and match match using evaluate this is again created in VBA <coughs> index here we want to get the experience so I will select experience here and then match using evaluate here I need to pass name and department and uh, column name is not required because it's column index is not required here because we are using single column in index so we'll get the result mm -mm. again I think I need to use this yeah now we got the same result I can now copy it or, or I'll show you one more thing here we are getting this error right so we need to use if error here to handle error properly no match okay now we can copy it to other cells I'll just drag it because we want to get the salary here I'll just drag it here to get the results let me write the name Patrick has accounts department okay finally we need joining date so I'll drag it here so this is another easy way of changing this reference quickly okay now uh, we got these three results using VBA and let me also show you the code that goes behind <clears throat> so this is match using find function this entire code right and then we have match using filter function this one here is the code so basically match using find uses find function to locate the values whereas match using filter uses filters right and finally we have match using evaluate that uses evaluate function in VBA to get the results and this is for the button that we have here you can see that this result is not matching so I'll get the results now we have the same results here so basically this button is using this function itself right we are using match using find for this function as well so this is just to show you that uh, when we click here it will get the results after clicking the button but here we are getting the results instantly so that is why I have used this button just to show you the difference okay now let us come to this uh, lambda function uh, okay so I want to create a lambda function for this okay let us go to the named ranges we need to create a name here in order to use lambda so I'll go to new let us give it a name match using lambda and here I will paste my formula that I just copied but it should start with lambda and after lambda I need to sorry I need to press F2 to come to edit mode okay now here I need to specify the arguments that must be passed to the match function okay so I want to pass name and department so we can type name and department so these are the two argument names that you will see when you type this uh, this function name match using lambda we will see these two arguments right unlike VBA in VBA we don't see any argument names but here we will see now we can use these two arguments in the match function 
let me copy it and instead of typing this range name we can use these argument names similarly for department I will use it here in place of named range and then I can close the bracket for lambda function also and you can set the scope here so I will keep it to workbook so that I can use this function uh, anywhere in the workbook in any sheet Okay, we are done with this function. Now we can use it here. Let me first try to use it here. Match using lambda. Here we have a new function that we just created using lambda function. Now you can see we are uh, we can see the argument names. So it is very easy to know what to pass, right? So I will select the name and then department. And yeah, we got the results. Oh, again, I need to modify the lambda function to match the results. <clears throat> yeah. I'll again go to name manager, edit it, and we'll start with B10 and D10 as well. Now our results should match. Yeah. So this is how we can create a lambda function and use it in Excel. Now I'll use it in index and match to get the results here. Okay. Index we want to get experience. And then for match I'll use the lambda function that we just created. And no need to pass the column name because we are we have single column. And Uh, okay, I need to select this range. Mm -hmm. Oops, something wrong with the lambda function, I think. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah, we are done. Okay, now we got the results. Let us also put if error. Okay, now let us copy it for salary and then for joining date. Right, so you can see that how easy it is to use and create lambda functions. Right, so I hope you liked this video and found it very useful and you will start writing your own lambda functions. Thanks for watching and for such amazing videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.